Welcome back. In this video, I will discuss how to design AND function using perceptron rule with a very simple numerical example. First, we will try to understand briefly what is a perceptron rule and then we will try to understand how to design AND function with the help of a perceptron training rule. In, in case of a perceptron training rule, the learning signal that is uh, the error you can say is the difference between the calculated output so we need to calculate the output of the output neuron and then we need to compare that particular thing with the actual output or the target output so if we see the difference between these two things if there is no difference the meaning is uh, the network has learnt it otherwise if there is a difference the meaning is the network has not learned so we need to go back and then do some weight updation in this case so how to calculate this particular output at the output unit so that's the next question comes in front of us to calculate that particular thing, the very first thing what we need to do is uh, we need to use this particular equation and then calculate the uh, net input to that particular uh, node. Next, uh, we need to use this particular equation to calculate the output at the output unit. So, how this particular net input is calculated? That is B plus summation of I is equal to 1 to N XI WI where B is the bias, XI is the input and WI is the weight of i unit in this case. Now, once you get this particular y in, uh, we need to set some threshold initially. If the y in is greater than threshold, the output is 1. If it is in the range of minus theta to plus theta, that is uh, theta as a threshold in this case, it is 0. If it is less than minus theta, it will be minus 1 in this case. Now, uh, we have to update the weights based on uh, what we have calculated here and what is the actual target. If they are not same, we need to update the weights. Otherwise, we should not update the weights. If the calculated output is not equivalent to target, new weight is equivalent to old weight plus alpha Tx. So, alpha Tx is added to old weight. What is alpha? Alpha is the learning rate. T is the target of that uh, input and X is the uh, input over here. Now, uh, once you calculate this, you will get the uh, updated weight here. If both of them are same, there is no need to do the weight updation. O new weight is equivalent to old weight here. So now we try to understand uh, how AND function is uh, designed with the help of this particular uh, perceptron rule. Uh, this is how actually the uh, AND function looks like. The output of AND function is high whenever both the inputs that is x1 and x2 are high. In all other cases, the target is low in this case. This is how actually the sample uh, AND function looks like. We have two inputs x1 and x2. Uh, this is the bias the value of b we need to set w1 and w2 we need to set initially and then we need to go on calculating the output at this particular output in it the calculated output and this target is same uh, the meaning is we, do, we don't need to do the weight updation otherwise we need to do the weight updation over here so that is uh, what is written at this particular stage now uh, how to calculate uh, the y in i think i have already told you that is a summation function we need to use bias plus x1 w1 this is uh, w1 this is x2 w2 in this case and uh, once you calculate this particular y in based on this particular uh, activation function we will get the output here and then uh, how to uh, update the weights uh, because once uh, uh, you find that the target uh, what you is not equivalent to what you have calculated we need to do the weight updation so if you want to do the weight updation we need to calculate the change in weights that is nothing but uh, delta w1 delta w2 and then delta b delta w1 is no, not uh, something great it is nothing but alpha t x1 alpha is the learning rate t is the target x1 is the input here delta w2 is nothing but what alpha t x2 alpha is the learning rate t is the target and x2 is again input here delta b is equal to alpha t where alpha is the learning rate and t is the target here again now i will show you the uh, first uh, epoch that is the first uh, run in this case uh, this particular one this is the input x1 and x2 this is the target uh, this is fixed we need we, we need to we should not change this particular thing what we need to do is we need to calculate the net input so first we will present this particular input once you present this particular input, this is what the equation here that is b plus x1 w1 plus x2 w2. We have to initialize the uh, w1, w2 and b. Uh, we have initialized them to 0, 0, 0 here. So once you set 0, 0, 0, b is 0 and then uh, x1, what is the x1 here? 1, 1 into 0, that is what the thing, plus 
uh, I will make it as multiplication symbol plus x2. x2 is what? 1 again here and w2 is again 0 we have set. So once you calculate this particular thing, we will get 0. So that is what I have written here. Now, if you see this particular uh, 0, uh, this is the y in. So 0, y in is equal to 0 in this case. If it is greater than 0, 1. If it is equal to 0, it is 0. If it is less than 0, it will be minus 1. So that is what the activation function I have considered here. So because y in is equal to 0, we will set the output as 0 in this case. Now, once you set this particular uh, output, we need to compare this particular output. This is y and this is the target. Both of them are not same. So what we need to do? We need to update this particular previous weights. To update the weights, we need to know uh, that's a change in weight. That is delta w1. Delta w1 is equal to what here? This is the delta w1 column. Alpha t x1. Alpha is the learning rate that is uh, set to 1 here. And then uh, t is the target. What is the target here? 1. And then x1. What is the x1 here? 1. 1 into 1 into 1 which is equal to 1 here. And then uh, delta w2 that is alpha t x2. Alpha is 1 t is 1 here target again x2 is 1 everything is equal to 1 here alpha into t is nothing but b here alpha is 1 t is target is equal to 1 b is equal to 1 over here so these are the change in weights add this particular change in weights to the previous weights to you will get the new weight that is uh, delta w1 is added to old uh, w1 so 0 plus 1 is equal to 1 0 plus 1 is equal to 1 and b plus this uh, change in b is equal to 1 here so we got the new weights here that is 1 1 1 now we will present this particular new input once you present this particular new input the target in this case is minus 1 so we have to calculate what is that called as again uh, y in so how to calculate y in here b b what is the value we have 1 so that is what i will write here plus uh, x1 w1 x1 is what here 1 w1 is what 1 here so 1 to 1 is equal to 1 plus x2 w2 x2 is what minus 1 w2 is equal to 1 so this will become minus 1 here so 1 plus 1 minus 1 is equal to 1 so that is nothing but the net input over here we have calculated the net input now this net input is greater than 0 because of that the output is equal to 1 here so once you calculate the output we need to compare this output with the target here so target is minus 1 you have calculated 1 both of them are not same the meaning is what we need to update the weights again if you want to update the weights again we have to calculate delta w1 delta w2 and delta w, uh, delta b here what is delta w1 alpha t x1 alpha is known to us that is 1 t is target is minus 1 x1 is equal to 1 here so 1 into minus 1 into 1 that is minus 1 here again alpha t x2 alpha is 1 and then uh, t is minus 1 and x2 is minus 1 minus 1 into minus 1 into 1 that will become 1 here alpha into t is nothing but b alpha is 1 t is uh, minus 1 this will become minus 1 over here now we need to add these things to the previous weights so minus 1 1 will become 0 1 plus 1 will become 2 minus 1 1 will become 0 here so these are the new modified weights here because weights were modified uh, we have to repeat this particular thing for the next input so next input is equal to this one minus 1 1 is the input target is minus 1 we will calculate the net input again with the same equation we will get 2 here once you get this particular 2 2 is greater than 0 so the output is equal to 1 here the calculated output is 1 target is minus 1 both of them are not same here because they are not same we have to update the weights again to update the weights, we need to calculate delta w1, delta w2 and delta b with the same equations here. We got plus 1, minus 1, minus 1 here. And then we need to add these to, uh, these things to the previous weights. That is 0 plus 1 will become 1 here. 2 plus uh, minus 1 will become 1 here. And then 0 plus minus 1 will become minus 1 here. So these are the, uh, the modified weights what we got. Again, we will present the next input here. Once you present the next input, y in is minus 3 because it is minus 3 minus 3 is less than 0 because minus 3 is less than 0 the output is equal to minus 1 so minus 1 is equal to minus 1 we should not do any weight modification so delta w1 delta w2 and delta b are 0 and weights are remains same over here now what has happened in this case is so only the this particular thing was classified correctly 
the previous one were not classified correctly in the first uh, iteration or the epoch so we will try to repeat the same thing again here now what are the modified weights 1 1 minus 1 so with the help of this particular 1 1 minus 1 we will try to classify the same examples again we will try to consider the first input 1 1 target is 1 here net input we will calculate here what is the net input we got 1 because we have to use the same equation we will get this particular thing as 1 because it is greater than uh, 0 the output is equal to what uh, 1 in this case okay now this is 1 and the target is also 1 both of them are same so no need to do the weight updation so delta terms are 0 and the weights remains same over here now we will present the next input this is the next input the target in this case is minus 1 the net input that is y in we have to calculate with the help of this equation that is minus 1 minus 1 is less than 0 because of that it will be minus 1 here so that is what I have written here now the calculated output is uh, minus 1 and the actual target is also minus 1 because they are same we should not do the weight updation delta terms remains 0 and the uh, the weights will remain same here we will present the next input the target is minus 1 y in calculated is minus 1 here and the calculated output is equal to because y minus 1 is less than 0 the calculated output is minus 1 minus 1 and minus 1 that is target and the calculated outputs are matching here so no need to do the weight updation so delta terms remain same weights remains same here now we will try to present the next input once you present the next input the target is minus 1 y in is minus 3 minus 3 is less than 0 because of that we got the output as minus 1 so minus 1 is equal to minus 1 then there is no need to do the weight updation so these are the final weights after the weight of the uh, second iteration you can say now uh, after second iteration we were able to classify all the targets correctly this one was classified correctly second one was correctly classified third one was classified correctly fourth one was classified correctly so you can say that these are the final weights of this particular network or you can say that the and function in this case for alpha is equal to 1 uh, these are the final weights so that can be drawn something like this the bias is equal to minus 1 the weight 1 that is w1 and w2 are equal to 1 1 in this case so this is how actually the final and function looks like with the help of uh, perceptron rule I hope uh, the concept is uh, clear uh, if you like this video do like and uh, share with your friends press the subscribe button for more videos press the bell icon for regular updates thank you for watching